Time's always been weird for me. And I don't mean time as in a super philosophical way. I just mean... I mean my relationship with time. A lot of times, I'm really sure I'm going to do something. I'm really sure that I'm going to have time to achieve my goals, visit people I want to see. Because it's always a delicate balance, right? Between life and the future. I've kind of started looking at existence in two parts. Because you've got the future and life. And upon first hearing that, that might seem kind of confusing. I understand. See, the thing is, is that generally, like I said, my relationship with time has, has been kind of easygoing. I don't, I don't really think about it much. I live my day-to-day -day life, try to keep myself happy, try to keep myself busy. But as always, whenever you have goals, whenever you have aspirations, especially with creating stuff, there's always the future in mind. Now, I'm not somebody that has my own future in mind a lot of times. I'm going to college, I, I'm working towards my goals, but that's more of a necessity. Because to me, future means creating. It means, in the future, what am I gonna make? In the future, what am I gonna do? In the future, what experiences am I gonna have? So to me, the future isn't necessarily something to get to, it's just something to work towards. So what I'm getting at is that the future is an abstract concept. It's little moments of the present strung together until you're there. And so what that leaves is what's in between those little moments of the present and the future. Now obviously, it doesn't even exist in abstract terms, it exists mentally. But it's the space of eventually. Eventually. Eventually is a word that keeps going through my mind lately because I'm moving into the future and so that's the only way I can rationalize what I'm going to do is, is with eventually. See, so many things exist in this eventually. Big things, small things, things that don't matter, things that do matter. Eventually it can be anything that you want to do. It could be a plan you have with somebody. It could be a show that you want to watch. It could be a band you want to check out. Eventually encompasses everything that you're not doing, but everything that you plan to do. And there's some things that exist in this eventually that make it out of the eventually, that make it into the future. And those are the things like buying a house. You know, eventually you're gonna buy a house, but then one day you sign the lease and you have a house now. Or eventually you're gonna wash your car, and you wash your car a month from then. But there's a lot of things that we don't notice that pass us by that never left the eventually. And it's not a bad thing inherently that things don't make it out of the eventually. See, we're given a, a limited amount of time to do things. I've done the math, it's something like 13 years of our lives, we have time to be productive, to, to live our lives outside of work, outside of sleeping, outside of responsibilities. That's about three or four hours a day. A lot of things don't need to make it out. A lot of things, like a movie you wanna see, it's fine. You can't watch every single movie. You can't always have that last date with somebody. But it's still important to remember, make sure that you're choosing the right things to pull out of the eventually. Make sure that you're using the 13 years the way that you'd want your past self to have used them.